Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math, Math Video Number 10. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 01, click on the link below the videos. Hey, uh, this is our second week in Chapter 1. We'll actually start doing some homework from the textbooks. Here are our topics. Now, some of this seems pretty easy, right? Well, rounding may not seem so easy, but adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Um, but we'll see some some good tricks in Excel and math for all these. And then uh, word problems. They always seem so scary to do word problems and applications. But there's one great trick that actually makes big, scary word problems quite easy. And we'll see how to do that. We're going to start on the sheet tab WD numbers, whole and decimal numbers. Now, here's a list of the words we use. Now, in a business class, we pretty much you know, for writing out checks, we do need to write out our numbers and spell our numbers. Sometimes in articles, you'll see millions and billions and trillions, so it's helpful to know those. You pretty much don't talk about uh, to the right of the decimal. You say, you know, either we're going to talk about pennies, right, or dollars. However, sometimes in the stock market or the bond market, you'll hear them talking about tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousandths. All right. So here's the decimal point. Everything to the left is a whole number, the tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, up to billion, and then up into trillions. Everything to the right of the decimal place, uh, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, right? I used to always get confused, like, why is this 100? That's not 100. It's because these are, we can get up to 99 between these two uh, digits right here, 99. So that's how many hundredths there are. Now, to find a whole number, it's a number with no decimal, such as 5,678. To find a decimal, a number with decimals. Now, it could be 4.987, or it could be 0. Um, zero 0 0.062, that's like the FICA tax rate. All right, so we want to take this information and see two examples of how to write it. I'm going to click over here. So we have to write this. Well, the main one important thing is the word and goes here, all right? So that's always like the deciding point between the whole numbers and the decimals. So I'm going to type it. Now, I type painfully slow and misspell words, so you guys can just laugh along with me here. 5,000. 5,000, and then a comma, 215. And I'm going to do it like uh, dollars, like I'm writing a check. Dollars, and how many cents? 29. Now, I want to show you a little trick here. Uh, you see how that word is kind of hanging over the edge? I want to wrap. And there's a great, one of the big improvements with the introduction of the ribbons in Office 2007 in Excel is that. That used to be buried down in a dialog box. Right? So if you have the cell and some stuff's hanging over, and you want to automatically wrap, which, is mean, which means expand the height of this and wrap down to another line, you click this button right here. This is in the alignment group in the uh, home ribbon. So I can go like that. Control Z. If I was con in the old days, we had to control one and in format cells under alignment, we had to come down here. And, you know, basically hardly anyone knew about that. I'm going to click Escape and just use this lovely little button right there. Now I'm actually going to capitalize this. One thing is uh, in the textbook, they you, the, sometimes people hyphenate. You can or cannot 5, hyphenate. $215.29. Right, so $215, $215, and that's for the decimal point, 29 cents. All right, this one, oh, this one's big. Looks like I have to count them. Okay, the hundreds, the thousands, a million. These are billions, so it's like four, 456. I'm sure I've already misspelled something here. Billion. OK, so we got that one. You think that's a lot of words, and we're only through there. Uh, 700, 758, 
million four hundred fifty two thousand hundred thousand comma one hundred nineteen dollars and because there's the decimal point 16 cents all right now even before I hit enter I'm going to do spell check now spell check is somewhere over on the review tab there is a keyboard shortcut it's F7 and that pretty much works uh, in PowerPoint Word so I did spell something wrong 16 Wow, that's amazing. All that, and I only spelled one word wrong. All right, so now I want to click here and then do this. Right, so one other little point. You know, I have um, this little button here that reads it out. That's a special button I added. Maybe I'll turn, turn off, that off. Speak on enter. Um, notice we have thousands and millions. Over here, you can always tell because they have the TH on the end. Right, That's to the right of the decimal. All right, that's... Uh, for this video, for this class, that's it. Now, I am going to show you an amazing trick here. Now, this is kind of an advanced Excel trick. It is not required for this class. If you're in the class and you don't want to see it, go ahead and stop. But if you're curious, there's actually a function. You know, like we have the sum function and stuff like that. There's a function that will spell words out like this. Well, well wait a second. <laughs> spell check didn't count, catch my fur there. Right, totally 100% not required for this class, but I gotta uh, show you how to do this. I'm gonna go to open up a, a browser, so I'm gonna like, open up Internet Explorer and see if I can go to Google. I'm just gonna ask Google. So I'm gonna say, uh, type in a question like um, Excel because I need to find the answer in Excel. Numbers to words. Now I'm going to look at this one. That's on Microsoft. This is Osgrid. That's another great site. I'm, but I'm just going to go straight to Microsoft. See what they have to say about this. And if you read this article, it says you have to use Alt F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Copy this code here. Click Insert Module, Paste, and a new function will be in your spreadsheet and what it does is unbelievable all right so what this is this is actual code you have to copy so as I'm copying down here I'm dragging my cursor down to copy it so I come to there I'm gonna control C and and this is pretty self-explanatory it is code right somebody wrote this well, none of us know how to write code right but I'm gonna go back over to Excel and follow the instructions it said alt F11 to open up the uh, the window, insert module. You actually even don't need to, to know much about this, but insert module. And then this is called the uh, VBA window where you can write code. So I'm going to control V to paste it. And that's it. I'm going to save. And then I see that I did, didn't have that uh, very big there, but I'm going to use this X to close it. All right, so I copied the code, Alt F11, insert module, control V to paste, and now I'm going to try this. And there's a function called spell number. Right, so I click right there and enter. Now I'm going to click here, I'm going to do that same trick. Oh, now I already have word wrap there and it's not looking like it's working, so I have to come over here and double click between 5 and 6, and there it is. That's absolutely amazing. And what's so cool about this function is I can type anything here and it just instantly gives me the words it's too bad they don't actually just have this function built in to Excel you actually have to go out to the Microsoft site and do this little step and dance but there it is not at all required for the class but maybe a uh, one or two of you are like man that is just too cool and that solves a problem I had at work or something all right uh, next video we're going to talk about one of the most important topics how to round in Excel. See you next video.